Oh, what is up, guys? It is I, Jane Poop here, back with another bonus video for Resident Evil 5. And so, in this one, we are going to do um, uh, the one of the DLC expansions, Lost in Nightmares, uh, which pretty much, which pretty much has the events take place before the actual main Resident Evil 5 game. So, um, yeah, you have all that. And, um, so, yeah, we're gonna do Lost in Nightmares. Uh, we're gonna do it on amateur difficulty, uh, so, uh, uh now both, both DLC, uh, expansions that you get are not that long, so they're, pro they're probably about 40 minutes, so these won't be long videos at all, so let's go ahead with Lost in Nightmares. Shall we not? SAA received intel as to the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Jill and I were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. Chris to HQ, come in. We're at the target's location. Copy that, Chris. Move in and procure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. We're in. Let's move. Yep. It's a mansion, but it's not the same mansion as the first game, not the Spencer Mansion. This is a different mansion. And so here we go with Lost in Nightmares. So we play as Chris Redfield, our partner is Jill, uh, with different hair colour and such. And she's wearing a cap, which is not really normal, but okay. Uh, and we're going to uh, open up the map. Uh, the controls are the same and everything. So we're going to hit the switch right here. And it lets us go through these gates. There's dead people up here as well. Oh no. Uh, so, you can see Chris is in his, like, um, uh, alternate uniform, uh, based on his Resident Evil 1 appearance, I guess. So, and we're collecting these, uh, score things, so, so we get a lot of score. But there's also, there's also these things that you can shoot up there. You see that glowing thing? Yeah, if you shoot them, you get points. You get an achievement for getting all of them. So, there's another one up here somewhere. I don't know if we can get it from up here, though. From over here, though, so... We probably can't, so we might have to go upstairs first in order to get that one. Uh, oh, dead body falling on the floor. Eagle 6 to nest. Do you read? We read you, Eagle 6. Go ahead. We found some men down. Judging by their wounds, it looks like they were physically assaulted. I figured it's probably Spencer's security. The Lord only knows what killed them. Roger that. We knew this mission wouldn't be a cakewalk. Use extreme caution. Yeah. So we can get Jill up there with the same kind of moves. And while she does that, we're going to find some other things. Because she's going to... Because she's going to unlock a door down there because it's locked for us. There's the other score thingy, it's right over there, so we do have to stay upstairs for that one. Kinda takes you back, Raccoon City? Fortunately, yeah. That's where all this started. Hard to believe that was eight years ago. I guess I am getting older. You're not the only one. Flock from the inside. So then and then you you can't kick the door open, you just go through them, so it's like Resident Evil 1 fashion. And I guess Resident Evil 2 and 3 as well. I'm going to read this document, which I'm not going to fucking read. I'm just going to grab the password. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. There's a couple of more score things here. I don't know if I'll get them all in this video. But I'm going to see if I can try and find them all. You can get some with your knife as well. So it's great for conserving ammo. Uh, especially with later parts of this. So we're going to go through here. 
it's another... Is there another score thing over there? I'll, I'll look in a moment. In here we have... Uh, it's a bathroom, well, a toilet room, so... Nothing useful here. There's another score thing here. And Jill got it, okay. I'm gonna open up that menu. Give me an herb. Take this. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna combine it, why not? And Joel got the machine gun. Give me your, come on. I'm gonna re request that as well, so I'm gonna keep that. Right, and then, uh, I think there was a... A star. I think there's score stars, I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, no, there isn't one in here, okay. We can go here. And then there's a piano. Play Sonata. Jill. So we're gonna make Jill play it. And... Yep, it's like the Moonlight Sonata from the first Resident Evil. Only slightly different. And to make it slightly faster, we can try and hit the switch. Just shoot that switch over there. And then... We got the centaur emblem, I think that was what it's called. So we got that, so now we can go uh, to another door that we couldn't go in before. So, uh, let's go there, shall we? I'm going to open this door. Um, then, I bet there's more score stuff up here as well, but we'll get them later. I don't know if there's any on the chandeliers. No, there isn't. Okay, we'll get the others later then. Uh, I think the emblem's for this door here. So we're going this door. Uh, so I think we... Yeah, we can go in here. And uh, we're just going ahead. And then, there's this door here that we cannot open, but... But Jill might be able to get it open. Jill. So she'll use a lockpick on it. Okay. And open it. It's open. Okay. Before that though, I'm gonna go in here to see what's in here. And uh oh, there's a proximity bomb. Um there's another skull star. And then um some grenades. Four of them to be precise. And then, um, is there anything else here? Oh, wait, this, the heat sensitive paper. So, it's a bit of dirt on this one. So, so what we need to do is, um, so we're not gonna go in that room that Jill just opened yet. We're gonna go uh, to another room. Uh, where we can find... Well, first off, we're going to actually go back to where the fire was. So we're going to go in there. So we're going to burn the paper. So yeah, that's how you reveal the rest of the password. I don't know how it works, considering if you burn paper, it normally, uh, uh, fucks up, well, okay. I guess it works with that paper. Maybe it depends on the paper, I don't know. Alright, so now we'll go this way. And you can't go up here, because you can get some ammo up here, but we cannot go this way at all, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to, uh, just wander around in this area. So let's go here. Like a different kind of hallway. And then, and over here there's another score star that we can get with a knife. And then here there's a bed where uh, people can have sex. <laughs> okay, just kidding. But more importantly, another password. And we can read this again if we want, but okay. Anything else in this room before? Believe. Oh! Shotgun. I'm gonna give this to Jill. I owe you one. Take it. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Give me your shotgun. I was supposed to have that. Whatever. Alright. Um I'll do it like this then. And 
then. There's nothing else around here, so... don't think there's anything around here. I don't think there's any school stars on the ceiling at all. I don't think there is. No, there isn't, so... We can just, we can just get the fuck down, so... I don't know if there's actually any extra um, score stars in there, because you can only get up there with Jill, and obviously you can only play as Jill after finishing this once. So, I don't know if there is more of them here. In fact, there might have been one behind here. Oh, no, there isn't. It's just a wardrobe. Okay. Oh, oh th no, there's one up here. Okay, we can get this one. Is there any more, though? I just need to check. No. Doubt there isn't any more. Well, we can't see from there, so I bet not. No. Okay. There's no more. Alright. That's all of them there. Because I normally use a guide to find them all, but... Uh, let's hope I don't need one. Considering the fact I've played this, like, t uh, a couple of times... Because again, to unlock professional mode for this, you'll have to uh, beat it on veteran mode at least once. So, yeah. So let's go on the computer and look at porn. <laughs> okay, just kidding. And that will reveal that. So then, we can go inside here. Before we leave, though, shoot that. Because Jill is trapped. Then what we need to do is quickly go in there. But before you leave, if you want to get all score stars, you have to shoot that quickly. I guess you could shoot it before the cutscene happens, but... Okay. Okay, it's open. Then... Then we should be able to go through now. And before we leave, there's another school star here. So I guess Jill is gonna like. Well, I don't know if she'll do it with the at attack command, but hopefully she can get rid of some jars while we're around. And if not, then what a bitch! All right, uh, is it? No, no, that's just the uh, gate. I guess you could shoot the score star from there as well. The uh, reason you cannot shoot the score star afterwards is... Well, I don't know if it's possible, but... It's likely it isn't, because I tried it before, and... No luck. And she did not get that. What a bitch. Alright. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to give her the health stuff. Oh, sh shit! Why did I use that? Then again, we don't really need to use these too much because uh I need ammo. Use this. then again we don't really need uh, health items too much because obviously we're on amateur mode and I already know how to do this already because normally on the other difficulties you would have enemies going around here after doing certain parts but in amateur mode you don't get any so yeah now we're gonna place is there another score star in here? Oh, I, I saw another one up there. I saw another one up here. On, on the light. Oh no, it's not that again. We, it's this. Square prank. And I'm gonna get Jill to do that. Because why not? Then. Then I'm gonna go this way. Then. I'm gonna turn it. So then she can go through. But before we move down, I think there's another score start up ahead. Come on. Well, we go through here first. Wait for another goddamn loading screen for no goddamn reason. And then... Right here, we should find another score star before going down. I think you can get it when going up before... After going down as well, but I think it's easier this way. Uh, what side was it? That's the thing. It's there. Okay, I see it. It's right there. There we go, I got it! Only one shot, wow. Oh no. I hope we don't run 
run into whatever's making it. And when have we ever been that lucky? <laughs> so yeah, I think there's more score stars around here. So a couple of them are very hidden. So we gotta look carefully. So oh, uh, I see one there on on beside this uh, zombie. Uh, that's cool. And then we've got a box full of oh, just a star. Now the stars that you collect yourself that you don't need to shoot do not count. So so even if you don't get any of those, then it doesn't matter. It's the ones that you shoot that count towards the achievement. So. Was that? There was something there, but no. Come on! Okay. No, don't, Jill. Just stay here. And then. Oh no! Oh my God! God. Those are the enemies that you want to avoid. As well as these. Because these enemies, on the other difficulties at least, they can grab you and instantly kill you. Jump over here. I don't know if there's another score star. Shouldn't be. Oh, there's one here. Thank God I got back here. And then... There shouldn't be any around here. I don't think there's any... There's no treasure to find here, obviously. Especially if I forgot all... If, if I have all uh, treasures in the main game. So, yeah. Oh, my God. At least Jill helps us, so... I thought there was something there, but no. Okay, there's another score star here. It's a good thing we've got that. In a couple of moments, uh, someone should shoot that. Open that, there we go. There's another one of those. Over here, quickly, we can get that. Oh god. Oh, that was close. Right, there's nothing in there. So then we could just go here, into this section. Okay, it's those eyeballs you want to try aiming at. Otherwise, if he if they grab you, you're basically screwed, almost because they can nearly instantly kill you. So I'm gonna put the attack command on. Okay. Oh wow, he's going down. Oh wow, he's dead. Okay. Then I think Jill's getting rid of those. And then we can get we can get better stars here. And when he gets down, I can. Uh, there should be another one. Oh, what? He's following me here now? Come on. Oh, wow, he's dead. Okay. Never mind. Like, then, like, they're not that bad on this mode, but on the other modes, they are very difficult. So, I highly recommend uh, just staying here longer <laughs> until you get them, because I, 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 like, died at this a lot on when I did it on veteran and professional mode, just for the... Because you get an achievement for finishing this on professional mode as well, so... Right, get out, Jill. There. We got the key. That's what we need the most. Then, we're gonna use the key to open the door. Um, we go from here. There is more score stars. I know where some of them are. So, here we've got this silver crest. But 
here somewhere, we should find another star. Right there. And then, we can just place that there. And then... There's another one of those. I don't know if there's one behind us as well. Oh wow, got him. Okay. Oh, now we've got to get down. Come on. Oh god! Okay, we got hit. Okay, we killed him. We got that star. Luckily, it was just one. So then, on, we can get Jill up here. Oh, there's another one. But luckily, Jill can give us the gold crest from here. Come on, Roger. I'm just gonna try and shoot him from here. It doesn't really matter if you waste your um, guns too much here because obviously because something will happen uh, after a couple of sections. So I'm gonna check if there's any stars we missed. There shouldn't be. No. Nah. Right, it's just this area that had the stars. Okay. No other area here should have stars. So. has been released. Hurry! Then. Then we fall down to die. Okay, no, just kidding. And then we're in the basement area. The ground. Jill, are you okay? I'm fine. But I lost most of my gear. And yep, that means... Try to find a way out of there, and I'll find a way to meet up with you. Copy that. Watch your back. So that means... We lost all items! They're all gone! So we have nothing to fuck with. But... We, we can luckily find items. You will get your uh, some of your guns back later. To be honest, you don't really need strong weapons. You, you would only want them if you want to overpower those enemies, but... Now, this is the section where... Uh, you only have hand grenades here, and you have one of these, but again, you don't need to get those. Those are optional, but unless you want more points, then, okay. Is where... We got to do something very cool. But we'll get to that in a moment, but first... Spider. I'm gonna kill you, spider. I'm to give you a point, there we go. And then we got a score for that. And then over here, we got... This crank, a blue crank. So what we're going to do with this blue crank, you may ask? Oh, hey Jill. Um, we're going to... I'm going to make sure, because there's an enemy here. If he spots us. We're doomed, yep, you can tell with the music playing. And he will follow you. So you need to get the fuck away from him. So we put the blue crank in here. Can't move it, someone else is probably standing on the platform. Jill. Right, we're gonna get Jill to get on there. Then what what Chris what we need to do is where's Jill? Okay, she's there. I need to distract him. So I need to So I need to distract this guy, so I'm just gonna use this. Right, so we need to make him follow me. This way, this way, good boy. Then, when he's under, press deploy, and then... <laughs> we crossed him. And yes, we get this. Sun is the shepherd part. Uh, and then, what we do with that is we... Um, we put it over here, and then boom. That opens. Depending on what difficulty you're on as well, 
you will have to do this more times. So, if you're on uh, veteran mode, for example, you'll have to kill two more of these. I think professional, you have to kill all of them, which there are four in total. But in here, there's only one. I think normal mode has two. I think it indicates on how many is on there, so... Like, I don't know about normal mode, because I've not played this on normal mode. I've only played it on amateur, veteran, and professional. They're the only modes I've played it on. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna give that to Jill. Go. And I'm gonna request for the grenade. And now we can go up the stairs. And just go up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. You see, there's another score star here, and we have no guns, but... Over here, there's a gun! And then we use that gun. Hopefully, this should be the last one we shoot. And if not, then I have to do it all again. Hopefully, it's the last one, though. You grab it. Then. Okay. I bet I've not got them all, have I? I'll just double check. Okay, I don't think I've got them all, but... Unless there's more around here, I don't know. I know there was one there. But unless there's more around here, I don't know. Because I forgot. Because I forget these things, you see. Can we break these windows? No, not with a knife. Right, I think we've not got them all. Uh, unless there's... Another on the wall or something, I don't know. Nope, I think we've uh, missed one or some. I don't know which ones, it's hard to tell. Oh well. Let's hope we can get some of the other achievements though. Let me walk through here. So then in here, Wesker! So with this Wesker fight, he also dodges like this, but when he comes up to us, we dodge, and then we can go up to him and hit him. You can get an achievement if you do this. The achievement name, you'll not believe it. And you'll know if you've got it because you'll get tons of points from him, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Okay, so, so when he does that, we're going to dodge, and then run up to him to fucking punch him. There we go. But if you help Jill, it does not count as hurting him. Okay, so we need to dodge, and then punch him. There we go. That's how you do this fight. Oh, yes, we got points. We should have the achievement. And then... <laughs> we just fall back. <laughs> There's the achievement. The achievement is called Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. And 
then here's the results screen. And wow, we got an S rank, so we should get an achievement for that as well. Not just beating it, but also the S rank. We can now select Jill in Lost in Nightmares. Jill and Chris are now available in extra figures. So yeah, complete Lost in Nightmares on any difficulty. But we should get the S rank one as well. Yep, there we go. It's just a bad dream. Complete Lost in Nightmares with an S rank. So yeah, that is Lost in Nightmares. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to do this again to get one more score star, but okay. Okay, so obviously after finishing it, once you unlock Jill, now there are a couple of differences when you play as Jill. So when you do the piano, Moonlight Sonata. I remember the last time I played this. I think you can still play it. You mean right now? I don't know. It's been a while. So we have to do it with Jill, and. You have to keep pressing buttons, and it has to be the button that's shown on screen. And you have to do it at the right time. If not, the door will close, and you'll have to start all over again. Well, the song. Let's see if I can do it. Shit! <laughs> I missed. This is what I mean. And it's only with Jill you have to do this. This is why most people like to play as Chris, because they don't have to do this. But then, with Jill, you access areas that you couldn't before, so... That's the other benefit. I could at least shoot that Chris. That was close. Okay, there we go. You could at least shoot that, Chris. God damn it. Whatever, I guess. Okay, so during the this section in prison, I think the one we missed is up here. And I don't know if it's that's the only one or if there's more, but uh, I guess I'll have to find out. All right, let's see if this one will be the last one we get. Let's hope. Let's hope. Go. Okay. Let's see. So I got the one that I think we missed. Pick it up. Okay. So I don't know. No. Well, I guess not then. I, I think there's another one that I missed. I don't know. Right. Let's see if we got it now. Oh. No? You grab it. Am I still missing something? Oh my god, I'm totally shit at remembering things. Fuck. Oh wait, no, I was wrong! We did get it, it just appeared later for some reason. God Christ. Alright then. Alright, we've got all achievements for Lost in Nightmares, except for the professional mode, obviously, but... Uh, but yes, and then obviously uh, we unlock uh, the ability to play as Jill after we've finished it once, at least once. Uh, so yeah. So that'll be it for this bonus video. So in the next bonus video, we'll focus on Desperate Escape, which is the next one. So I shall see you guys next time. So jump out. See you guys next time. Bye!